on this <laughs> on this edition of breaking into you're talking to an extraordinary young man next you are tuned in to black hollywood live breaking into from. There we go. Police is coming there we go. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. We're listening to a song by my guest. Listen, this music is so good. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. to Breaking Into. And here on Black Hollywood Live, I'm your host, James Live Jr. You can follow us on the Breaking Into page on Facebook, hashtag Breaking Into on Twitter with my Twitter handle, James Live Jr. Make it that simple. On this show, I like to bring you guys people of all ages and sizes and, 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 and performances. And I'm so glad to have this guy on because many of you know him from his seven years. Seven years. Yeah. You go before our eyes on yeah. NBC's drama, Days of Our Lives. Um, I actually interviewed his TV dad on here a few months ago, James Reynolds. Yeah. And he said nice things about you. He's also the voice on Cartoon Network's The Amazing Gumball, which I actually, World of Gumball, which I actually watched some episodes. It was laughing so hard. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? This yeah. show is nothing like I thought it was going to be. It's cool. He sings, he raps, he plays guitar. He's doing more than I am. Yeah. Pharrell Ransom <laughs> Jr. See, this stuff falls for you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, everybody calm down. Calm down. <laughs> He'll be here for a little while. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. We were talking about the whole junior thing. Do you like being a junior? Um, I do like being a junior. <laughs> Sometimes it gets confusing because yes. my mom's always like saying like, Terrell, and I'd be like, which one? <laughs> and like, it's like really confusing sometimes, but it's also cool because like, there's not a lot of juniors out there, so it's cool, yeah. But my father and I, we lived together for a while as adults, and people would call the house. But this is back when we just had phones. Right. Uh, we didn't have cell phones. I'm a little older than you. Uh, just a little. And, uh, and he, we would call and go, we count to James. And we're like, well, which one? Yeah. James Lott. We're like, well, which one? Yeah. Like, so he goes by Jim sometimes. Right. right. I don't do Jim. <laughs> I'm James. So welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Um, you are doing some great things. You have a varied resume already yeah, at your age. Yeah, How old are you? Yeah, I'm 13. 13. 13 is a magic number these days. Yeah. It's a great age. Yeah. Wow. And so when did you get started? What was the first thing you did that you remember in this business? Um, the first thing I did, well, I came here, I came to L.A. when I was four. Okay. And so, like, the first thing I remember was actually auditioning for Days of Our Lives. Wow. And then, like, I just remember booking it and yeah. being, like, really excited. And I was like, oh, this is easy. I can do this. This yes. is cool. Yeah. <laughs> you, you thought it was easy yeah, to do this? Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I was all nervous. And like, you literally kind of grew up before our eyes on this show um, playing... A legacy, they call them legacy characters. You were, you were part of this big, well, you, were, you were Demira, part right. Demira yeah, for you yeah. Days fans out there because of your mom, the beautiful uh, Renee Jones. Um, and then, of course, James Reynolds. Right, yeah. Had, had yeah. Down there. Um, we're going to show a clip from Days of Our Lives. And we're going to show, there's a, there were many clips I wanted to show of you, but there was one that just made me laugh as a parent, having had gone through this, because you have, on the show, you had autism. Right, yes. So, yes, But this, yes. Is, this is something I've gone through with my own kids. So let's take a nap. Y'all ready to go? Come on. It's time no. to go. Yeah, you don't know where we're gonna go? No. We're gonna go see Mark. No. Remember, he's got all those cool toys? No. Yeah. No. Let's go. No. It's okay, it's okay. No. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on. No. We're gonna you know, go over to Mark so we'll have a lot of fun. No. You know your buddy Noah's gonna be there? No. Yeah, no, no. It's okay. No. It's okay. No. Do you have any snacks in your purse? Yeah. No. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's actually a common thing that happens to some kids sometimes yeah, out there. Yeah. So do we do when you, when you look at that right now, do you remember that at all? No, <laughs> you know, I didn't you, remember. You, you I was like, wait, what am I doing? And then I was like, oh yeah. Right. <laughs> so okay, so um while you were on the show, you played you played a kid who had autism. Yes, yes. So what were some of the responses you got from fans? Um, well, uh, one of the really, uh, great responses and things that, like, really inspired me were, like, um, other parents or, um, like, kids who had autism mm -hmm. were saying, like, I was, like, a really big inspiration to them and mm -hmm. I, I was doing a great job. It was just, like, I was, like, it was really awesome and I was, like, I was just thinking to myself, like, wow, this is crazy. Like, yeah. I, it's just, it's just unreal. It's like a... Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. the power of television. You can actually affect change no matter what show you're on. Exactly. Yeah. You don't, you don't know who's watching you. Right. How did you learn about autism to do this role? Because you're so young. Right. Also. Well, I, at first I didn't know like what autism was, and then I sort of like um, my mom introduced me to some kids who had mm -hmm. autism, and mm -hmm. so. I sort of had to like take notes and like yeah. see how they reacted and how yeah. they acted and stuff. And I just like I just learned a lot from those experiences. Yeah, um, 
one of the one of the things we liked about you is your when you were paired up with Lauren Bowles, who played Sierra. Yeah. We were sad. I'm gonna say this. I don't care. I'm gonna say it out loud. Even though I like the new, I like the new Theo. He's fine. I mean, you want to age him. Yeah. But we really wanted to watch you two grow up on the show. Right, right. We right. think because you guys had such you and Lauren. What can you say about Lauren? Okay, so Lauren, she's really cool. She's yeah. really like fun to hang out with. Like every time I go to days, like yeah, um, we, we like hang out in each other's like uh, green rooms and yeah. stuff, and just like have like a fun time. And like every yeah. time we had scenes together, we would like have fun like between scenes and stuff. Yeah. So it was like really, really, really cool. It came across on screen. You guys yeah. had such yeah. fun friendship chemistry on, yeah. on screen. I mean, you guys, she was always the bad one, kind of. You just kind of led you yeah. Around. I was like, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. a great little actress. I was like, you got right, but we wanted to see you guys grow up on the show. Yeah. So, How did you feel? when Lexi uh, Jones decided to leave Lexi Jones Renee Jones decided to leave the show okay I was extremely yeah. I was really really sad um like but I felt I felt sort of it I wasn't really 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 sad when she left but like it was it was sort of like hard to get used yeah. to her not being on set yeah. and stuff so yeah what is one thing about her we you think we wouldn't we would be surprised to hear that you when you were playing her son um one thing well she's like she's almost nothing like Lexi like, <laughs> uh, well, like yeah of course like she's like um sometimes when she played Lexi she she, she seems sort of like off a little mm-hmm. bit sort of like um sort of like distant a yeah. little bit but she's really 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 nice and uh, she loves like everybody so uh, it's awesome so cool. yeah and what can you say about James Reynolds he said he loves you he said he loves you you'll always be one of his sons yeah James he's oh he's he's yeah. awesome he's yeah. so amazing like he's all he's like my second father he's like mm-hmm. he's like a really he's caring he's a really mm-hmm. nice person to like be around and stuff mm-hmm. like I remember one time we had like a Christmas scene and he even bought me like a Lego set oh, hey. for, for Christmas and mm-hmm. it was like it was really really awesome yeah yeah he's a very nice guy him and his wife Lisa are great people yeah, yeah. and I've had a chance to have him on this show of course and he is. I mean, you're right. He's very caring. Yeah, yeah, he is. Very caring. So that's kind of. Was it ever confusing to you? I always want to ask this for kid actors. When you're young, when you were younger, mommy, daddy, then versus real life mommy, daddy. Was it ever confusing to you? Kind of like you knew you were acting, so you knew that these were obviously. Yeah. Your parents? Sometimes it was weird. <laughs> like, um, so, well, most of the times, like I, I kind of understood and okay. stuff. But sometimes it's weird when I have to like. Kiss my mom goodnight and be like, oh, I don't really know you. I don't really know if I want to do that. Um, I was going to tell you, a lot of male adults want to kiss your mom yeah, on the show. Yeah, goodnight. I was like, yes. okay. <laughs> Ooh. That's so funny. I was always wondering that because when you're very young, you're acting, but you also you have to know this is you're calling them mommy and daddy. And you have a right, real yeah. mommy daddy. It's kind of interesting there. Um, so that was seven years of work on there. You have a lot of work on there. There were yeah. a lot of scenes I was looking at. Yeah. Getting reminded and kind of on there, so it's such a great thing. Now you're also doing voiceover work on the Amazing World of Gumball. Yes, yes. I which like I said, I never heard the show for in my life. My grandkids know it. Yeah, yeah. They knew it. I asked them, they're like, "Oh my god, I love the heat the fish," you know stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I knew that, and I start watching clips, and it was really funny. I'm like, it's kind of for adults, kind of. I think. Yeah, it is. It's it's very mature. Comedy. Yes, yeah. yes, it is yeah. at all. We're gonna show a clip from that. All Actually, right, this awesome. is this is your I think this is your rap. I think. Yeah. the best thing to do when you know your childhood days are numbered. Lie down on the ground and go like this. Uh, <laughs> hell, dude. You make the most of it. <laughs> we enjoy what we can. We I love this song so much. It's, yeah. it's, it's fun. It's a fun song. We go around the block and we go up by the mall. The people think we're dogs, so they give the cops a call. Police get away with it because it's a public space. Turns out we were loitering just standing in one place. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like I just with my eyes closed and I still look fly. It looks like you got a leg dance plan from a wiener dog. Oh yeah, well you are And when I don't have a gun like that you always hear it. And so for this show is I'm like, it's really funny. Yeah, it is. Now basically with this show, okay, so you play Darwin. Yeah. And you're the best friend of the main character. Yeah. And so it's Jacob Hopkins plays the main character? Yeah, he plays Gumball. Okay, yeah. so okay, first of all, how this show you just auditioned and you got it? Or? Yeah, basically what happened is my uh, my grandma, she actually introduced me to the show. She watches like a lot of cartoons and I was like <laughs> she was like, Have you ever seen the, have you ever heard of the show? I was yeah. like, No, I don't really know what it is. So one day I watched it and I was like 
this is really, really, yeah. really funny. Yeah. yeah, and so then, like, I loved it for a ver- very long time. So that, And then, like, a few years back, I got a call, and they were like, we want you to audition for the Mies World of Gumball. I right. was like, oh, my yeah, gosh. Wow. I was like, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I was, like, so excited, like, yeah. nonstop, no sleep or anything, <laughs> like, going over well, scripts and stuff, yeah. watching videos and everything, and I yeah. just, it just happened. And I yeah. think it was, like, made for me yeah no it's, it's great i mean yeah, yeah. so how's it doing voiceover because you have to go into a booth right you're not really out on a stage or anything right yeah you're in a booth just talking i think it's it's easier it's okay. definitely easier than like um when i go on the set or something because yeah. there's not as much pressure on you as it is when you're like um like having like multiple cameras record mm-hmm. you and you have to go do like scenes back and whatever yeah. um so if you like mess up on a line you say all right well can i just do that line yeah. again and mm-hmm. it's like it's fine you don't have to worry about like yeah. all the stuff and you can go in with like pajamas yes, on sleepers yes. do whatever you want <laughs> yeah footy pajamas whatever you want to do um and it's just a lot easier and a lot more laid yeah. back yeah, now, do you and Jacob actually do your scenes together? We do not. I don't think so, because a lot of times we have you just come in, you do your part. Yeah, right? yeah. So how do you act? Well, because c- most of the time, most people think that you can, like, just sit still and just sort of, like, talk. <laughs> no. But that's not me. I, I'm, i like, flailing my arms around and stuff. They'll, they'll, like, joke around with me and they'll be like, well, we need to look at you and see how Darn would act and how he would, um, like, dance or yeah. whatever. And I'm always, like, screaming and stuff. So it's really, really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good time. That's great. No, Cartoon Network does a lot of great programming anyway. Yeah. And some weird shows. Yeah, so I was yeah. just like, I think it was like Adventure Time. I finally got into that one a little bit. And Rick yeah. and Morty and all these things. I'm like, who are they? What are these shows? Right, they're, yeah. they're kind of for kids or teens. Yeah. And I know of... they do like a thing where like after like yeah. 9 or 10 o'clock, they're like, all right, now it's time for the adult for stuff. For the adult stuff. Yeah. And I'm don't like, all right, that. turn off the TV. Yeah, yeah. don't watch that. <laughs> Even I shouldn't be watching that either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's really cool. So how what is your chemistry like with Jacob? Because, I mean, you actually don't do it together, but you have great chemistry on there. Right. Yeah. Well, um, we are, like, we're basically best friends in real life. Okay. So, yeah. so it's it's kind of, they'll say, like, all right, so you see how Jacob did this? And I'll be like, yeah, I know exactly oh, what to do. Good. Yeah. And so, like, we're sort of, like, best friends. So it's, like, really fun to hang out. And we'll yeah. talk about, like, what our favorite lines and scenes okay. were and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. And it's on Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. Yes. Cartoon Network, you guys. I think I'm gonna start watching it because this is kind of really yeah, funny. But like definitely. I said, my grandkids knew. They knew all about it. They're like, yeah. they think I'm just out of out of date. I guess. I was right. going on. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Now, you know. So, do you like doing television? Yeah, I do. do. I love it. Like doing television. Yeah, I like it. I like the feeling of like just being known by people <laughs> and saying like, oh, hey, you do this or you do that. I think yeah. that's really cool. Are there any shows out right now that you like? Would you like to be on? I want to be on The Flash and oh, Supergirl. Okay. Those are well. I'm a big like action hero okay. fan and okay. stuff. So anything that has to do with me becoming like a super superhero or anything, yeah. I'm like down for whatever. Ooh, really yeah. Fun. Okay. Yeah. You heard that out, guy. You heard it out there. Flash. Anybody yeah. want Supergirl? Definitely. They're both on CW. Yes, they are. You're a CW person. I can see you on Blackish too. Yeah. I want to see you on that. Yeah. I want to see you on the kids. Those kids are good on there. I want to see you act with the kids on yeah, there. Yeah, they are. They're, They're really cool. good. They're all really good. Um, now, you also, besides acting, mm-hmm. this guy also raps. Yeah, he I do. He plays music. I mean, like, he has so much. I have two clips I want to show. One was actually, uh, we played the song in the beginning. So we're going to show the, actually the video a little bit of that. Awesome. This is his song. This is Kid Prodigy. Okay, so now you're talking about something very serious. Yeah. I and am. so I want I want to talk about that. I really okay, want to talk about awesome. that because I always today we have something happened today that's out there in the news. Um, and you know, I've obviously been a, a black man for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and a black boy before that and there are that and and I have I have two grandsons. And I've always tried in the last couple of years to talk to them about how it is to be black. Right, yeah. And a black male right. in society. So where did this song kind of come from for you? This song, well, I'm, 
I come from a religious background. Like okay. um, my grandfather, he's um, he's a bishop, and okay. my grand uh, my grandma, she's also a pastor, okay. and so it's it. This is really like inspired by me coming from Detroit and my mom being oh, from okay. Flint, Michigan, oh, ooh, and yeah. so okay. yeah, it's really it. I I think it's sort of like a message to everyone. Sort of mm. like it's kind of like pointing you in the right direction. Sort of like. Uh, in a in a in a like sort of secret type of way telling you like what's happening and opening your eyes mm-hmm. to like the violence and stuff and like everything else that's happening. I think it's admirable because I think, you know, you guys are the next generation to exactly. take yeah. over stuff and I always worry that what's going to happen to you guys. Right, yeah. You know, cuz I really I feel very much for my young black Kids and, and young men, right? And so I thought this song was just. I heard the lyrics like, wait a minute. First the song, the music's really good. Yeah, thank it you. It gets you in, which is a good. You get to get the message yeah. out through some good music. And then I was like, oh, he's saying something really kind of timely right now. Right. Yeah. A but, lot uh, of people just like listen to the beat, but then yeah. like, if you listen to it over again, and you yeah. can sort of like hear the message that I'm trying to um, yeah. tell everybody. Where did the Kid Prodigy thing come from? The Kid Prodigy thing came from me being back in Houston. Mm-hmm. My mom was like always telling me like, you're like a little kid prodigy, oh. <laughs> you're my prodigy. And so I sort of, that really inspired me because then I think of I think of myself as a prodigy. I can, mm-hmm. I do a lot of different things. I'm smart, I can I can act. Yeah. So I'm sort of like, um, like a triple threat sort of. Yeah. So it's like really, it comes from that, yeah. yeah. So then I, then I was, sometimes I guess that I think your parents must have talked to you about being black in America, they've they sat you down with that, and so right. you kind of an understanding of kind of how that yeah. how that is right now. Yeah, my mom, my mom and my dad, they really communicate with me okay. and sort of like they don't like shield me away from stuff that's happening, and they really talk to me about everything that's going on. Good, and also this business too, of course, right. this yeah. business, yes, yeah. They try to do things to us in this business too. Yeah, <laughs> we are on Black Hollywood Live, so we can't talk about that kind of stuff, right. of course. <laughs> but of course, I always tell people, you know, anybody can make it. Exactly. You just yeah. keep pushing through. Yeah. And if you have talent, it should rise to the top, obviously. Exactly. And you yeah. have talent. You Thank have talent. You. Thank you. And speaking of your talent, we're going to actually uh, show another clip. I saw this online. I was like, excuse me. Let's throw that right now. Oh, yeah. So good. Thank you. Had no idea. I was like, I had no idea. Oh man, Michael, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. No, so I mean, so when did you start? When did you play guitar? Start playing guitar. Oh well, I started playing guitar um a long time ago. I think I was eight, but I, my fingers were too small to sort of get <laughs> to the uh, chords and the frets and stuff. Okay. So I sort of like dropped it and then. Um, I don't know what happened. I think I got back into playing guitar, and so then I started singing and stuff. And then I yeah. uploaded my first video, and it and it did really well. Yeah. So then I just started um, singing more and stuff, wow. and then I got into it. Yeah. So you were a Michael fan, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I am. Michael, Michael fan. I can see that. No, it's beautiful. Your voice is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you played the guitar fine. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, like, okay, so I mean, so then what is it? What's first? Do you like rapping more? Or do you like? Singing, playing music, or is just you want to do both? Or? I think. Well, of course, I want to do both. <laughs> you do everything. I, I love, I love rapping because I feel like I can do more when I rap. I feel like I can get another message across, mm-hmm. and I also, um, I love making the beats. I think that's like a huge thing. Okay. I listen to like a lot of different rap music, kind of just for the beats, no matter like what the lyrics okay. are and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think rap. I feel like I can make it my own more and like okay. make my own beats, take my own samples and stuff like that, and make it like my own. Producer here. Yeah. Producer. Thank you. He's a producer. <laughs> yep. That's where the money is too, producing. You hear from me first. Yeah. Produce. Um, that's really good. So I mean, okay, so who are some of your influences musically? Um, my influences musically, I think one of my biggest influences is Logic. He mm-hmm. has like really good messages throughout his raps and stuff. So like he's like one of my favorite rappers mm-hmm. of like all time. And I also love Pharrell Williams. Yeah. He's a really amazing producer. Yes, he is. And like I love like almost every beat he puts out and it's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I'll tell you, I, I'm gonna tell you this. I want more conscious rap out there. Yeah. I miss it. I miss it so much in the early 90s when you were not even thought of yeah. uh, when I was a young boy well I was, okay, I was a young man um, it was 
so abundant. There was like Arrested Development, there was De La Soul, there was Jungle Brothers, there was all these bands that were kind of groups were coming out with all this conscious rap that had good beats to them, you could exactly, dance to them, yeah, yeah. but they had messages in there that were that meant something. Exactly. Especially for our community too, things that meant our right. community. So I want more, I want to see more, you do more of that. Yeah, definitely. Very good. But you have a singing voice too, you guys you should sing, you should do it all. Yeah. Pharrell does it all. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That's Yeah, yeah it's, that's sort of like in the direction that I'm going like uh, musically and stuff. And then also I think Tyrese is also a oh, big yeah, okay. he influenced me. He also sings, he does music, yeah. but he also is an actor, which is something that mm -hmm. I really love. So yeah, I wanna do everything. Yeah. Well you know with the acting, you can do obviously you showed us you can do comedy. Right. With that gumball thing. You yeah. can also do drama. Exactly, yeah. Like, was there anything on Days of Our Lives? Because Days of Our Lives of course is a soap. But people don't realize soaps are fast paced. Mm -hmm. There is like usually one or two takes and then next. Right. You don't yeah. have any chance. So you got a good training ground, obviously, on there. Yeah. Were there any, would you remember anything that was really hard for you to do while you were on days? Um, any really scene hard. or anything? Because I'm, okay, one of those scenes, I think it was actually that scene. Um, I, for some reason, for, to me, it was really hard for me to like start yelling because my mom <laughs> taught me really well. She's okay. like, don't scream in public and yeah. stuff. And I was like, oh I'm my old. gosh. Black like, mothers don't let that happen. Yeah. You know, you know, you, if yeah. I, I, I like that on, on <laughs> for real, <laughs> oh. oh my God. I yeah, you, I'd be snatched in yeah. a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, yeah, exactly. So you were trained well, obviously. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But for acting, you, had, you, found, you found the place to start screaming. Right, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Especially with the amazing world of Gumball, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like How was it working with, you had a chance to work with Joe Moscolo, of course, who played Stefano. Right, yeah. times. How was that with him? He's retired now. Yeah, that was that was cool. It's, it felt kind of like the godfather yes. a little bit. I felt like <laughs> we were part of like a mob. He was like the the grandfather and stuff, yes. and it was it was a yeah. really cool experience. And he's he's so nice. I heard he's super awesome. nice. Yeah. I did hear he's super nice. He's nothing like his character. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, nothing. Obviously. Which we know, of course, folks. Actors right. are they're just acting. Yeah, yeah. Well, most of them. Yeah, they're just acting. Is there are there any actors that you admire that you right now um, their careers you admire? Actors I admire. That's a good question. Because you mentioned the singer is what the actors. Yeah. Um. Well, Will Smith yeah. always. Um. Denzel Washington. Yeah. Really good inspiration yeah. to me. Um. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. So you have a faith, right? Because you come from a family of faith. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so are there? Are you? Do you want to continue to do your career where your faith is very important, where you don't do anything that's too. Um, well, of course that has like a big influence to me, but I feel like as long as like, um, well, my mom always is going to like sh sort of shield me from things that I shouldn't be doing. But like, as long as like, um, it's not too bad. I think that yeah. it'll be able to work. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. You're good. I, I, I just, I, I mean, I just see really big things for you. Coming. Thank you. Thank I, you. You have a good head on your shoulders. And like I guess I met your mom and grandma. I think you're, you're in good hands. Yeah. You're totally yeah. in good hands. Um, now I asked my guests a couple of the same questions. Okay. And so I'm, just, I'm curious to see what you have to say because you're, because you're, you're, you're a teen. Um, language is very important. Right. And so I want to ask you, is there a word you think we should not say anymore? Um, a word that we should not say. Um, I don't know. I think, well, there are certain words, of course, that we yeah, probably well, yeah, shouldn't we're gonna say. Yeah, and I'm probably sure I shouldn't say them right Yeah, now, no, don't, say, don't yeah, say them. Yeah, yeah. But, that, that, yeah. Could be your, that could be your answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, I think I'll stick to that. Okay, yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I, say I like that. Is there a word you think we should say more of? More of beautiful. Oh. I feel like that's not said enough. I feel mm. like, and I feel like it doesn't just mean appearance. It could mean, like, uh, like uh, you have a beautiful soul or stuff like that. So I think that should be said more. Yeah, that's a great answer. Thank you. I'm adult who never said anything that, yeah. much, that good. Yeah, that's a great answer. I like that. Thank you. It's it's very underrated. Yeah. And we come from a beautiful culture. You come from beautiful women in your family. You come from beautiful people. Exactly. Yeah. I like I like that. Thank you. And now I always tell people on this show to say things out loud. We already said the Flash and Supergirl. Is there anything else you'd like to do in your career? You think? Um, anything else I would like? Just to manifest do. it. What do you want to do? You want you want to do movie like big time film movies? Of course. Like, yeah. Um. Well, like I, I I always I love Star Wars as well. Okay, so like yes. Star Wars is a huge thing. Like anything that I have to become a Jedi or a superhero, <laughs> I'm done. I'm I'm ready for it. I'm that. ready. Yeah. Are you excited for Rogue One? Yes, I am. Me too. I'm I'm very, excited. I look, it looks I'm really good. Excited. It looks really good yeah, on its own. I was really like good. I'm completely like shocked. Yeah. I I've seen every Star Wars in the theater. That's how old I am. Wow. <laughs> I've seen every single one in the theater. I'm like, God, that's kind of crazy. Wow. I'm only 29. It's, it's interesting. Thank you, so, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show. No problem. You thank are. You. I, I want to follow your career, and you have to come back every time you have something big happen. Yes, I will. I'll definitely. I'll talk know. to your people. You got to come back every time. I'm going to follow you. Yeah. 
The guy is a great young man. Thank Tell you. the fans in there just how you feel about them in that camera. I feel like you guys are beautiful. Thank you. Oh my God, you are a pro. You Thank are a you. Pro. You Thank are a pro. You. Oh Thank my God, you. you are a pro. And this is another edition of Breaking Into Terrell. Actually, we can follow you on um, on Twitter at Terrell Ransom Jr. Also yes. on Instagram. Instagram yeah. too. And subscribe to my YouTube channel at Terrell's World. Okay. That's right. Do it. Yes. Do it. And thank you for watching us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. From producers Maria Menounos, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, Kevin Undergaro, and the entire BHL crew, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us at info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I'm your BHL announcer, Scipio. Instagram me at Planet Scipio. Thank you for tuning in. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.